Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are. And where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. Sipapa, who was arrested and under police custody at Chira police station, has finally been released after spending three weeks hidden in a safe house. Once again, thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV, but let's take more look into some of these details. A city music promoter and self-proclaimed tycoon Charles Olim, also known as Sipapa, has finally been released after being arraigned in court and freed from prison on a cash bond of 4 million Ugandan shillings. And according to sources, Sipapa spent three weeks in a safe house where he saw a number of evil things that happened in safe house detention rooms. And upon being released from prison, Sipapa kept tight-lipped about the charges that he is charged with as he stressed that he is not sure of the cases as well. Uh, he's not aware of why he was charged and he really doesn't know why he was taken, uh, detained in a safe house in the period of three weeks. And he also did not say that for now, I don't want to talk about the charges that I have been charged with. I have spent three weeks in a store that you can call a safe house. I've seen very many uneasy things in there. I have also seen a 50-year person being beaten and tortured. Uh, safe houses even have five-year-old children in there, which is not good at all. So those in charge of the safe houses should improve on the situation or review on what they do. That's what Mabiris has said after coming out of the detention or out of the safe house. According to him, he said he has seen a lot of evil things that take place in the safe houses and he is very surprised and wonder why would people who look after the safe houses, who are leading the safe houses, do such kind of horrible things. He has seen old men at the age of 50 years being brutally tortured uh, beaten and he has seen young children at the age of five being tortured in the safe houses he wonders why would human beings torture such kind of people and he has been interrogated thoroughly and he still doesn't know why he was charged and he still doesn't even believe the cases why he was charged in and he refused to talk more he said they should give him much time so that you can come out one day and speak about what he feels uh well that is it from si papa who was detained by police he stayed there in the period of three weeks and he came out saying that he still doesn't believe or have an idea why he was taken and the cases that have been uh, alleged on him he's not yet sure about it but what hurts him more is seeing evil things happening in the police custody not even police custody but the safe house where you detain 50 year old man torture him five year old boy torture beaten in a very ruthless way so that's why he's gonna be for now very speechless but with time he'll come out and speak uh well that is it for now thanks for watching project media tv uh well don't forget to subscribe but just do one thing subscribe turn the notification button all updates will come to you timely once again thanks for watching